Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, James Alexander Malcolm Mackenzie Frazier. Happy birthday to you. Well, hello everyone. That was really cool. I'm Carol. And I'm Tracy. And this is my oh, Outlander Purgatory. Purgatory. And it is May 1st, 2013, which means it's a very special day in the world of Outlander. The year of our Laird. It's the year of our Laird. Oh, I forgot about that. It's the year of our Laird. It is the birthday of one James Mal and James James Alexander Malcolm Mackenzie Fraser. Jamie works. Jamie works. Jam. Whatever. Um, he was born on May first, seventeen twenty-one. So he's a spanking brand new, two hundred and ninety-two years old, I believe. God, right? you do the math. I don't know. I just. just it's late. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Last because last night I had a chat, I was corrected, and like, um, I figured that two two hundred ninety two is the age of my house, which is, um, well, no, it, my house is the year of my house is eighteen ninety three, so I take eighteen ninety three, and subtract hundred years, and then subtract. I don't know. There's a way to do it in in that I did, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I must have missed that in chat. Yeah, no, I, I didn't know what to do. So, what's going on? Anything else? This is a really quick video because Carol has to go to some baseball game. <clears throat> and I have to go because I'm now, you know, it's campaign season in um, in my town of uh, in New Jersey. And um, I'm uh, helping my uh, Line B candidates, uh, you know, with their events. So, I have to okay. go to Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, so, but we just wanted to say happy birthday to Jamie Frazier, mm -hmm. and we have not made a video in a while. Well, we, um, except for like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't, that was just driving oddness. Mm -hmm. um, but we will have to make another one soon, and I should put up those videos of um, Jamie's birthday in the gazebo at oh Jill's house. Oh my God, that, they were fun. I usually post them every year. Let the corners <laughs> of our minds. <laughs> That yeah. was when we were like shunning our children and I was just get out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was I going to tell you? Is there anything else you need to talk about that's not Outlander related? Well, there's no news in the Outlander uh, world. Except, oh, Ron yes, there is. Ron Moore and his four Ron Moore has a, has a writing staff. He has a writing staff. So, yeah. So, that's big news. I'm still saying, like, I'm thinking he's got a writing staff. I'm thinking I'm going to go there and I'm going to say September of 2014. Oh, yeah. It's oh, this will be crank. They'll crank that stuff. They've got four. Uh, he's got four. <clears throat> but I also need to see the star schedule to see where it fits in because I don't know if it's like a summer show, like True Blood. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What would you do if it was True Blood v. Outlander on, like, Sunday nights? Uh, Outlander. <laughs> Sorry. Did I have to think about that? Yeah, no, that's true. I'll always catch. I'll, I, I can just catch the True Blood recap the next day. The only person we want to see anymore is Eric anyway. Now that or, Bill is. Or it could be it could be January. I mean, it's no, nah, I don't think it's gonna be January of 2014. Maybe March of 2014. So it would like dovetail with Game of Thrones. So that's their like competition for Game of Thrones. I, I, Which, by the way, we need to just talk about Game of Thrones. One of these days, let's just make a Game of Thrones video. I think we do need to make a Game of Thrones video because I, I, I mean, I just am like, I might as well just set my Facebook status automatically at 10:01 Eastern Standard Time on Sundays to just have like. 5,000 exclamation points. Yeah, well, don't like, say anything because you don't give anybody any spoilers, but I well, blog... No, I'm sorry, but it's Wednesday. Like, we can spoil about this last episode. Sorry, but... No, we're... no. We're... Listen, I don't have time to get all in. I have, all I have to say is Cersei... Okay, watch Tyrion. it. She's, got, she's going. Right. I don't agree with this. This does not have my approval. What? The, we already saw the episode. It's four days old. You can talk about it. How are, are we going to make videos about Game of Thrones if we can't talk about it? Do you want it? Outlander fans turning us off? Fans of Outlander, not fans of us. Fans of Outlander turning us off because they don't even watch Game of Thrones or because they don't want to hear what we're saying. No. We have to make a Game of Thrones video. All right. Are we and, talk, and now are that we you have a new job. Are we actually talk about Game of Thrones in the Game of Thrones video? And I blogged about Game of Thrones at I know, I read it. And I, couldn't, I couldn't respond to your post because it wouldn't let me for whatever reason. So, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and what's up? 
apologies. And I, you know, I haven't even asked Carol about this, so um, this is all new to her. But what's about, up with um, the spam in the um, in the mile under purgatory? Are you getting that? Um, I like the spam comments. Someone's I've, broken through the firewall. Yes, yes, into Suze's the post about Suze's shirts. Some person from Phoenix. University of Phoenix online. Yeah. Thing. And like, P.S. Um, I I know her blog, so I'm <clears throat> more than happy to post a comment or two. Like, I, I, if I, I see mean, one more of those things show up, I just thought it was like some spam that like figured out it's how to do the, um, the like the verification things. I can barely do the verification things. I have to copy and paste my com or copy my comments because guaranteed I'm gonna have to do those verification things two or three times because I can't see what they are. So how is some spam like doing it? That's right. I don't doing. know. I don't think it's that. I think it's people are like um, internet evangelists and just going out for some. I don't know why they would pick a, a, a post about Suze's shirts on My Atlanta Purgatory. The only connection I could see would be Dinah Gavaldon in Arizona. I mean, I, I really I don't. Know. I don't think so because the University of it's University of Arizona or University of Phoenix. No, it's University of Phoenix. But that, like, like I said, the and online that, university, and, and that's a weak correlation. But it's the only thing I could figure out. Common denominator. I mean, why else would they pick that post? And it's not even like they're jumping around in different posts. It's that post over and over again. So I don't know. It's bizarre. Anyway, this is so boring. No one cares. Okay, we'll see you all later. Happy birthday, Jamie Fraser. It's been great. Um, yes, it's been fabulous. Two hundred ninety-two years. Here's to two hundred ninety-two more. I don't have a glass. The, the only thing I can offer you is um, the bar is behind me. Auto, <laughs> but he says, "Yay, Jamie Fraser!" Woo! Woo! Um, Woo! So that's it, and we will see you soon.